Hi everyone, so I'm going to be going over a word problem that um, involves something that I like to call uniform width. Um, typically they work out to be quadratic equations that you're building. Um, so here we have a question, it says a rectangular picture is 7 inches by 5 inches and has a border of uniform width, there's that word, uniform width, surrounding it. Um, if the area of the picture and the border together is 80 square inches, find the width of the border. All right, so I'm going to actually just make a quick rectangle here, um, something like this. And I always want to draw a picture of what's happening here. When we draw a rectangle, remember the, the length would always be the longer of the two. So I have a, a 5 by 7 um, rectangle. Um, actually, let me move that. Let me put that inside so it's not like in my way. And then it has a border around it, all the way around it. Oops, and you know what I'll do? I'll make that, I'll use a rectangle as well. Um, I'll do that. I'll try to make it. And maybe something like, There we go. Okay, so I've got this border around it. Think of the picture frame. Like, look around your room right now. I'm looking around mine, and I can see a ton of picture frames. So basically what they're saying is that this width, the here, 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 even though my picture's, like, kind of off, and here are all the same. So I'm going to call that W. All the same. Now then they tell us that the area of the entire thing, so the big, big rectangle, is 80. And I know that area equals length times width, okay? So I actually need this length and this width. And I know that when I multiply them, I'm going to get 80. Okay, so in this case, what you have to do is you have to write the length and the width of the larger rectangle in terms of W. So if I know that this piece right here is 7, and let me take my pen here, and then I know that this is W here, right across, like this piece here is W, and this piece here is also W, then the length would be 7 plus 2W. And then the same thing on the other side, if I know that this right here is 5, and then this is W, and this is W, this would be 5 plus 2w. Why addition? Because we're adding the two additional like widths. And the reason you can't define it directly is because it's actually not a rectangle. It's like these strips that go all the way around it. All right, so now I have my length and the width, and I plug them in to my equation. So 7 plus 2w times 5 plus 2w. All right, so now you actually have to multiply, right? We have to make this, it's going to become a quadratic equation. So I have to multiply these two binomials, two ways to do that. You could um, either FOIL, which I know some of your teachers use, or you might also use the area model. I tend to use that, so I'm going to use the area model, but you can certainly FOIL it out. Um, so let me do that really quick. So the area model gives me 35, 10w. 14w and 4w squared. All right, so 80 equals, and I want to put it in standard form when I'm doing that out. So 4w squared plus 24w plus 35. Okay, so now I have a quadratic equation because the highest exponent of my variable is a 2. So that's telling me it's quadratic. So now I've got to get it set equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 80. Remember, quadratics, we want to get set equal to 0. What would that be? That'd be 45, I think. Oh, so minus 45. And now I have a situation where I have to either um, use the quadratic formula or factor. Um, and I'm going to try and factor. All right, so I'm going to try and factor. So I'm going to look at the factors of 4, which would be 2 and 2. I'm going to start with 2 and 2, so 2w and 2w. 
and then the factors of 45 that when multiplied I'm going to add they're going to add to 24. All right, so I've got my factors of 45 are 9 and 5 and 15 and 3 and and you know just mental math here I'm I'm thinking that it's probably going to be 15 and 3 because if I put 15 here and 3 here my outer term is going to give me 6, and my inner term is going to give me 30. And 6 and 30, I can get to be 24. So I need them to be a positive 24 and a negative um, 6. So I think that that works out well. 2w plus 15 and 2w minus 3. Okay, so the big thing here is that factoring. Your teachers have probably taught you many different ways. You might have been taught the AC method. You might have taught the guess and check method. So use the method that you're used to to factor. Um, I tend to use guess and check with my numbers, um, but I know a lot of teachers use the AC method. Um, okay, so now I set each factor. I use the zero product property, and I set each factor equal to zero. And so um, that's going to give me 2w equals negative 15. So I can already tell that that answer is not going to work. And then this one's going to give me 2w equals 3. And I'm going to divide by 2. And I'm going to get 3 halves, which is also 1.5. So it says find the width of the border. And that would tell me that the width of my border is 1.5 inches not square inches because I'm not looking for area. All right, hopefully, um, hopefully that was a helpful video. Again, these uniform width questions come up a lot um, and hopefully um, you kind of are putting together how we got our original equation. Thanks so much, have a great day.